in this video i am going to explain space append uh, append resolver tool in mainframe once we create a file with the record length or primary quantity or secondary quantity we cannot change that once we create we cannot change the space primary quantity or secondary quantity at attributes so we cannot do it by default we don't have any command or approach to do that so if you want to do that there is a lengthy process or we can create our own customized tool with the help of mainframe rex module so in this video i'm going to explain to you how what type of the tool i created and how we can increase the space how quickly we can increase the space that i am going to tell you it is not more user friendly but still i can make okay this is the base version of my tool i can improvise that i can make more user friendly and more uh, convenient way for you know mainframe resources but i am trying to show minimal core functionality of the tool so first i will show you the input file the for which file i am going to increase the primary and secondary quantity so this is the ps file you can see and it has a data it has a data so total in this ps file we are having 15 rows 15 rows are there it can be 1000 rows or 1 lakh 1 million records that is not a problem at all and I will show you the attributes of the file. You see that record length is 80, block size is 800. Record length is 80, block size is 800. The primary quantity one one track and secondary quantity is again one track. So how I can increase uh, okay primary and secondary quantity so the tool which i created it is only for primary secondary quantity if i want the you know if i want to change the record length that also can be done but i am not doing that at this moment so let me execute one tool here for you how i can increase it in a quickly so i am going to just execute let me get the file name first of all for which file you want to increase yeah so i am going to execute this it is asking me for which file we need to increase we need to increase the space so i want to increase for the primary uh, ps file so as I shown you, this is the sequential file. Hit the enter. It will ask you the primary quantity. So I want to change from one primary quantity to four. Secondary quantity, I want to change it to five. Enter. So you can see that I messaged file is ready with the data and new space means the content is ready. So the second message you can ignore it. I can overcome that. I will go here. First I will refresh the page. And I will show you the space. The primary quantity got changed to 4. Secondary quantity changed to 5. Rest of the attributes remain the same. <coughs> then after the space got increased but we have to take care about data also data also is there so this is easiest way to create uh, you know to increase the space what is the what is the code inside in this particular one so this is the rex automation code i have written so if you know the rex then i'll be creating a one way one more video with this particular code there you can defer it so if i go here pds1 let's do for the pds 
for PDS, the maximum directory block I allocated to. So I want to increase this one. And the primary quantity, secondary quantity I want to allocate. I want to increase. So this is 2, 2, 2. Everywhere is a 2. Primary, 2, two tracks. Secondary quantity, 2 tracks. Maximum directory block, 2. And we will see that data. Sample test data. There are two members are there. M1, M2. M1, we have 15 rows. You can see whatever the data you saw in the PS file, I kept everything here same. You can keep any data by the way. And M2. M2 as just only like M2, I'll give my YouTube channel name now this time. So this is our YouTube channel name, Venkat since 2010. So contact me if you need any help or if you need the source code of this tool. We don't give this source code tool, okay, by this one. But if you want to know more details about Rex training or if you want to know about how I created and all, you can reach out to me on this number, WhatsApp or normal call. So always I recommend my participants okay my contacts to contact me on whatsapp for quick response so this is the content i kept now i'm going to provide this time pds partition data set pds1 i'll go i'll execute my code so i told you now i'm doing ex even we know it we can avoid this one also we can more, make more user friendly way to increase the primary secondary quantity with another panel. So I will I will provide a PDS. This time it will ask me, do you want to increase the directory block? I say yes. If I say I'll give uh, three. Primary quantity I'll give four. Secondary quantity I'll give five. Three per directory block. Primary quantity 4, secondary quantity 5. And you can ignore this message. This can be handled properly. And we can see file is ready with the data and new space. So what we have to do. Go to here. I'll refresh. Now I'll go here. You can see over here m1 and m2 first i have to show the primary quantity uh okay type i first i enter directory block that you can see three primary quantity four secondary quantity five so as per the requirement i could able to increase the directory block and the primary and secondary quantity so by the way we can customize as our wish no, I want to increase the record length that can be done. So whichever you want to customize change that also can be done. Enter. I'll say M1 edit. Now the content is there. 15 rows are there. Now M2. So while I am increasing the space. It doesn't impact the data so it is retained as it is and the space got increased so this is a one tool usually i will cover in my rex training like that two three four tools minimum i'll cover so that you will see you will get real experience on it so that's all about space oven resolver tool